In the wake of the Me Too movement, the number of rapes being reported to police has jumped significantly, putting a strain on police departments around the country. And it comes amid a troubling, years-long trend in which police are resolving a historically low percentage of rape claims. One of those is by Sam Gaspardo. With the situation, I blacked out a lot of the details. So the exact time frame or the date, I don't remember. A year and a half later, Gaspardo reported to police that she was raped by an ex-boyfriend. Police said there was not enough evidence. They said um, they couldn't prove that force was used. According to FBI statistics, police cleared just 32.1% of rape cases in 2017. That's down from 48.5% 20 years ago. A clearance happens to be when the police make an arrest and then they bring the person to court. That's basically it. This, that has nothing to do with going to trial. That just has to be with the rest. So when you look at that clearance rate, this is a police problem, not so much the prosecutor, to, uh, prosecutor problem. Joseph Jackalone teaches future police officers at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. I mean, in the age of uh, DNA and forensics and video surveillance and cell phone technology and all the different aspects that we could put people at the crime scene, our clearance rates are drop, they're abysmal. He says it's time to create a nationwide standard on how sexual assault victims are interviewed. Josie Torielli, who works with sexual assault survivors, says police often approach rape claims as false until proven true. What we know about sexual assault investigation is that the traditional approach to um, investigating a crime and finding out details like what happened and when and who did this aren't necessarily the right way to approach getting um, optimal and the best information from a victim. Um, and a trauma-informed approach will really say, why don't we start from what you do remember and what can you tell me about the experience that you had and really letting the victim lead that interview and lead where the investigation goes. Gaspardo says reporting her rape left her feeling dismissed and angry. I, I have been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, so blocking it out in my memory and not remembering anything until almost a year and a half later, there was nothing I could have done. Uh, because in my mind, it didn't happen. I, I've, it was just blocked. And I know with a lot of assault cases with PTSD, it's hard to do anything with that. Like in Gaspardo's case, a large percentage of rape accusations are reported months or years after the fact. And sexual assault is among the most confounding crimes police confront, as many investigations lack witnesses and physical evidence. Advocates say one other factor lowering the percentage of rape cases being resolved is that some police departments have begun suspending cases rather than clearing them to keep open the possibility of a future arrest. And that, they say, is a positive development for victims. Ted Shaffrey, The Associated Press.